find the volume of a pyramid, we have to use the rule that the volume of the pyramid is one third of the volume of the same prism. So if you imagine this was a this wasn't a pyramid at all, it was actually a cuboid which was six by four and excuse the very poor drawing <laughs> and ten tall. So if we had this cuboid, we'd do six times four times ten. So six times four times 10, so 20, 240 centimetres cubed. So for the whole cuboid, so if you imagine this space here was filled up, all this space was filled up right up to the top of the pyramid, it would be 240 centimetres cubed. A pyramid is one third of that size. So one third of 240, which is 80 centimetres cubed. So it's one third um, the um, length times width times depth. So one third of the same cuboid. There's actually an easy way to remember it's one third by looking at the formula book. Because in the formula book, they tell us the volume of a cone. And that one third is right there in front of this is the area of a cylinder so if you imagine that we had the full cylinder here the full cylinder with that as its peak if we had the full cylinder there we'd do pi r squared so five times no pi times five squared pi times the radius squared times the height which would be 12. so if i was going to do the cylinder cylinder would do pi times the radius squared times the height. So pi times 5 squared times 12, 300 pi. Um, for a cone, we just do one third of that. So it's one third of 300 pi, which is 100 pi. So the volume of the cone is one third the volume of the cylinder. In the same way, the volume of the square-based pyramid is one-third the volume of the cuboid. Here's two for you to try. See if you can work out the volumes of these two uh, pyramids, so the cone and the square-based pyramid. Okay, so the square-based pyramid, we're going to do one-third of 3 times 5 times 12. So, well, a third times three is actually one, times five is five, times 12, that's 60. So it's going to be 60 centimetres cubed. Here we're going to leave the answer in terms of pi. Um, we're going to do pi times the radius squared. So pi times four squared times the height. And it's a third of that as well, because it's a cone, it's not a cylinder. So we've got a third times pi times 16 times 9. So we've got a third of 9 is 3. So it's 3 times 16 times pi, which is 48 pi, 48 pi. Again, centimetres cubed because it's volume.